In this video, we are going to be learning how to set up autoresponders using GetResponse so that whenever somebody signs up to your email list, they will receive a welcome email such as this. In order to follow along with this video, you will need a GetResponse account. So if you don't already have a GetResponse account, then you can use the link down below in the description to sign up to GetResponse and get a 30 day free trial for the pro plan. Once you are signed up with GetResponse, you have to come into the home page of GetResponse and then you have to create your very own landing page first of all. So this is going to be a landing page using which your visitors are going to sign up to your email list and then they are going to be receiving the autoresponder message that we have configured. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our landing page first of all. So we'll go to tools and then we will go to build visibility and click on landing pages. So right now I'm going to be teaching you how to create a very simple landing page. But if you want to see a detailed tutorial on how to create beautiful landing pages from scratch, then you can ask me in the comment section. I'll be sure to create a detailed tutorial on this. So let's go ahead and click on create landing page and we will use a ready-made template and we'll go to blank templates and then we're going to be choosing this particular template right here. Once inside the landing page builder, we will scroll down and we'll delete all these unnecessary sections. So now we only have this particular section right here with the sign up form. So let's go ahead and publish this onto the web. So I'll click on continue and inside of the subscription settings and I'm going to be selecting a list that I've recently created called fill. So let me scroll down and then I'm going to be clicking on continue. And now they're going to be asking me in order to name my landing page. So I'm going to be keeping the default name and I'm going to be clicking on publish. So now my landing page has been published. And if I go into this landing page URL, I'll be able to see the landing page live. Okay, so now that the landing page has been published, it's time to go back into GetResponse and scroll down to the autoresponder section. For that, we can go to tools and then we can go to automate. And then inside of that, you have to go to autoresponders. Once inside here, you have to click on create autoresponder and just click on buy myself. Name your autoresponder. I'm going to be naming this welcome message. And inside the linked list, you have to click on the drop down and you have to select the list that you have added inside the landing page. So for that one, the list that I've added is fill. So I'm going to be selecting fill and I'm going to scroll down and inside of autoresponder settings, I'm going to be selecting same time as sign up and then allow the message to be sent on. I'm going to be selecting all these weekdays and then I'm going to be adding a from email. Then I'm going to be adding a subject line. Lastly, I'll have to go to design and content and click on design message. Then I'll go to blank templates and I'll choose this particular blank template right here. Then inside of here, I'm going to be dragging and dropping a text column. And then I'm going to be adding thank you for signing up to my email list. And then I'm going to be adding thank you for signing up to my email list. Here's your freebie. Once this has been created, I'll click on next. Then I'm going to scroll down. And now everything has been created. And the only thing that is left to do is to publish the autoresponder. Let's go ahead and save and publish. Now, as you can see, the autoresponder is live. Now let's go ahead and test out this autoresponder. For that, we will need to get here into the landing page. And then we have to add our name and an email address. For the email address, I'm going to go to this website called temp mail and here I'll be able to get a disposable email address that I can add inside of the landing page. So let's wait for it to load. Okay. Now I'm going to be using this email address and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to add my name and I'm going to mention my email address. Now let's click on sign up. So as you can see, it says that the sign up has been complete. Let's go back and let's check here if we received the email or not. So as you can see, we have received the email and this is the same email that we created. So we can now see that our autoresponder works. So this is how you set up an email autoresponder inside of GetResponse. If you like this video, then like, subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss any update from this channel. Thank you so much for watching until the very end and have a wonderful day.